Hi guys, great opportunity to tell you what it's like on the journey of making these documentaries, the filmmaker's journey. Thursday night we get a call from our researcher Trisha who says she has this great story about the last decoder from Monterey. She gives us a bit of a background, she's already spoken to Mrs Flanders and she tells what the story's about and we go, oh awesome. And uh, she says, look, she's only four and a half hours away from you guys, down there in Victoria on the South Australian border. Why don't you go down and have a talk to her? And we're going, oh, we, we've got to film her, we've got to interview her, let's do it. When can we do it? We look at our schedule and we're going, we don't have any space between now and the end of October unless we do it this weekend. So we looked at each other and we went, it's this weekend. So we grabbed our camera gear, grabbed some food, threw it in the caravan, and away we went on th Saturday morning. Arrived there late Saturday afternoon, popped around, saw Mrs. Flanders and said, here we are, this is who we are, this is what we do. And she was just absolutely gorgeous, 98 year young lady. She blew me away. Anyway, she said she couldn't talk to us and do an interview until Sunday after church at half past one in the afternoon. So on Saturday, Sunday morning, we did all our other stuff we do in post-production for Frederick Pottinger. We popped around and saw her at half past one and we sat down for two hours and we had the most wonderful interview come conversation about her life during World War II. Unbelievable. And then she made us a lovely cup of tea and she makes the most awesome shortbread you'll ever get in your life. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, so we spent some time with her and then by about half past three, four o'clock, we had to go to Melbourne, which is about four and a half hours away because we had a meeting at nine o'clock on Monday morning so we weren't gonna muck around so we drove all the way through until late Sunday night camped up just outside of Melbourne popped into Melbourne had a two-hour meeting and then on the way home someone rings us and says hey I've got something you need to look at so we had a detour spent two hours on site having a look at that before we made it back here late Monday afternoon and unpacked the gear and we did all that completely unplanned we had other things planned for this weekend, but that story was not going to slip through our fingers, didn't matter what, and it was just a fantastic weekend. So that's just what it's like on the journey of making these stories and documentaries, but the passion that drives you just keeps you going all the time. But I just wanted to share that with you because this is really part of the filmmaker's journey. Until next time, guys.